Hello and welcome to another Swift One, where I quickly go through some of the absolute basic skills that you need and the basic shortcuts to use Sibelius software. Today, I'm going to talk about respelling accidentals, flipping stems, changing note heads, and adding duration of your music to the end of your piece. So respelling accidentals, basically getting it to be the enharmonic equivalent. Uh, a G sharp is, of course, enharmonically equivalent to an A flat. Hit the enter key on your QWERTY keypad. And as if by magic, it does that. There we go. That's the end of that one. How easy was that? Flipping stems. Occasionally, you may want to flip a stem. So these four semiquavers here. Hit letter X on your QWERTY keypad, and the stem is flipped. Next, changing note heads. Uh, there are occasions may, where you may want to change a note head. Well, let's take um, that F natural. Go to uh, notations and then type. What would you like? Let's have a cross. There we go. Control Z that. Type and I'll leave you to fiddle with all these. They all make sense. The only one be wary of, if you convert it to silent, which obviously makes the note silent, to turn it back on again to be heard, if you want to hear that again, you don't go to silent again. You need to go to normal again. So this time I go to normal, and now I can hear it again. Now then, you might also want to add the duration to the end of your piece. Right now I'm doing lots of GCSE music and compositions and things, and my students are dying to know how long their piece actually is. Well, if you go to the play tab up here there we go and you're looking for time code this fella here and then it's right here duration at end of score and there you go job done thanks for listening have an excellent day bye bye